Welcome to the Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. Both sides of the House is gearing up for a vote on Thursday to repeal the estate tax. To give you a better understanding of what all of this is about, I'm joined by Bill Black. Bill is an associate professor of economics and law at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. He's a white collar criminologist and a former financial regulator and author of The Best Way to Rob a Bank is to Own One. He's a regular contributor to the Real News Network and he's joining us from Quito, Ecuador today. Thank you so much for joining us, Bill. Good to be here. So, Bill, give us some context as to what uh, the um, uh, estate tax is all about and why the Republicans want to repeal it. So the estate tax is all about not wanting to create an uh, aristocracy uh, in the United States and uh, many other countries that have similar taxes in which uh, you start out uh, as with 100 million bucks and uh, you're sent to, uh, you know, money's no object, uh, every activity you can imagine to try to uh, get you into Harvard uh, and uh, et cetera. And so that uh, wealth would simply be self perpetuating. Now, the Republicans uh, had a brilliant move uh, about 10 years ago, and they started calling this the death tax. Uh, and uh, you can see why that's uh, a very effective uh, label. Um, it, it, it's interesting because the uh, Republican strategist who came up with the idea said he could never figure out why the Democrats hadn't answered and said, no, it's the billionaire's tax, because that's actually what it is. It's a tax that falls almost exclusively on people who are billionaires. Uh, and so we're talking about about uh, in any given year, uh, ballpark uh, 5,000 households. Uh, so this is not something of the 1%. This is something of the one ten thousandths of 1%. Now, uh, Bill, why is this back on the agenda of the House? Um, give us some history to that lineage. Yes, uh, Bush, uh, President Bush II, uh, George W. Uh, passed a repeal uh, of the estate tax, but he was only able to get uh, sufficient political support to make the repeal temporary. Uh, and uh, eventually, uh, President Obama refused to agree to extend uh, the elimination of the estate tax. Um, and so the Democrat, I'm sorry, the Republicans have made it uh, an important part of their agenda for their absolute, again, uh, wealthiest uh, backers, uh, the ones who give, of course, the uh, mega dollars that allow these political campaigns uh, to try to get rid of the estate tax. And for the, the political class, the donor class uh, within the Republican Party that gives these $50 million dollars. Um, uh, dark money uh, contributions, the death tax, as they would call it, uh, is a major issue. And um, and what happened? When did you know? Historically, it was uh, quite accepted that uh, a estate tax uh, is a good thing for the nation. When did this uh, historically turn? Only within the last uh, 15 years, uh, you're quite correct that uh, f uh, from fairly early times in the United States, there was uh, considerable opposition from all major parties to the idea of creating uh, an aristocracy of the uh, ultra wealthy uh, that that would continue to uh, control a huge portion of the wealth uh, of the nation. Uh, and that uh, uniformity of position among the political parties was uh, broken, uh, as I say, only about uh, 15 years ago uh, in the Bush administration. And the, uh, apart from the terminology uh, polarizing the, the dis discussion and debate, um, what are the real issues that the Republicans have in opposing it? Well, there aren't many real issues. Uh, there is an effort to create a phony issue that says, oh, this uh, tax uh, causes terrible problems for regular people. And the quintessential example that they're talking about 
is, say, the Iowa farmer, uh, because it turns out the Iowa farmer, uh, if he or she owns you know really vast tracts, uh, is not middle class uh, or anything remotely like that. They have um, machinery and equipment. If you've driven through Iowa, as I have many times, uh, such that uh, even smaller farmers uh, have millions of dollars of equipment and large farmers, given the sharp rise in agricultural land prices, uh, are now um, multi-multi-millionaires in many cases. So again, because Iowa plays such an important role, particularly in the Republican uh, quest for the nomination, uh, you get a, a very strong uh, push, especially this time of year, uh, every four years, uh, to uh, have a permanent repeal uh, of the estate tax. So, Bill, uh, the the bill was uh, suspended, or the tax was suspended for a long time. When did it go back on the books? Uh, it went uh, back on the books a couple of years ago when the uh, Republicans and Democrats were unable to reach a broader agreement on some fiscal issues. So the, the Republicans, in essence, were using uh, the estate tax repeal to hold hostage um, uh, these broader agreements uh, with Obama at the beginning of his term, saying, mm, we'll only give you that if you agree to continue the suspension uh, of the estate tax, so that those broader agreements were never very principled agreements, of course. They were bad public policy. Uh, and finally, the Republican demands became too large, and President Obama uh, said no, and that meant that uh, the temporary repeal of the estate tax lapsed, so the estate tax is back. Uh, in operation. And now the Republicans are moving, as I say, particularly in this election season, particularly under their arguments about how this is supposedly so important uh, to farmers in Iowa uh, to try to make it uh, a high priority repeal. Bill, as always, thank you so much for joining us and giving us this update of what's happening in Washington. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.